Morning, mate. Morning, brother. How's it going, dude? Yeah, all right, mate. Three, yeah, uh, it's probably about four now. Yeah, 4.15 a.m. in the desert. We finally nice left Panamint Springs. Oh. The worst resort in the history of the world. The armpit of California. Never go there. That's one place on this trip I think I'd rather forget. Was it three and a bit thousand feet of climbing this morning? Yeah. Straight up. And then it's Small descent rolling. and flat all the way home. Yeah, it's rolling all the way in. So we're on our way to Independence, which was a major staging post for a lot of the stagecoaches back in the like, 1700s. So it's quite a was quite an important town. Um, I'm frankly, I don't give a shit about that. I'm more looking forward to air conditioning. guys and welcome to today's video. We've ridden out from Panamint Springs today, the worst resort in the whole of the world. We've just been climbing for two hours, an hour's descent and flat for the rest of the day. Freezing cold! <laughs> we can't wait for the sun to rise because it's freezing cold. Oh mate, you know what? <laughs> Don't mind. Lawrence and I went down into the salt flats yesterday to uh, try and get some phone reception just so we can let loved ones know that we were okay because there's no reception where we were staying. We were out in the, in the heat for like 25 minutes. It was 52 degrees. And Lawrence is sunburned. And Lawrence is sunburned. <laughs> like Lawrence got sunburned in about 15, 20 minutes. Unbelievable. So it's sunrise. There's something, having spent the last almost week in the desert, there's something beautiful, but slightly sinister about sunrise because you usually- Scared of it. It just means unrelenting heat. But at the moment it's 12 degrees. And it's, well, you've just been complaining you're cold, haven't you? soft git. What have you done to your helmet? Dude, come on, man. Well, what have you done to your helmet, mate? What's wrong with it? <laughs> it's, Mark, it's like your other one. That, 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 reverse. Oh, wow. <laughs> what are you doing, man? We need to say thanks to someone, don't we? Uh, yeah, Mark. Uh, Fella Forte. And actually, if anyone hasn't heard of this stuff, they probably should try it, shouldn't they? Yeah. We've been living off of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and even better, he's airdropping like yeah. halfway through the journey a bunch yeah. more Fella Forte. He, he, so emailed, he emailed me actually this morning. Panna Forte, so basic all natural recipe. Um, it's homemade at the moment uh, with new easy to open wrappers. Yeah, the old ones you couldn't open. Shameless product plug. Right. <laughs> there are flies Lawrence, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, one of the flies bit me. They're chasing and us. And they're chasing us. Yeah, they are. They're riding, they're flying at 20 mile an hour. 20 mile an hour, we can't ditch them. Bastards. It's like Star Wars. It is just like Star Wars. Ah. So we've been debating that every, we don't, every, every we, diner. Don't, we don't think Americans know the difference between white bread and sourdough. sourdough. But every diner offers sourdough and white, so this time we order both. And they're the same. We've got dark crust. <laughs> but it's the same. It's the same thing, dude. And I keep putting butter on it. Yeah, but so, much. so I've had an idea that I don't think any of us nor any of the viewers have thought of. Maybe we should be riding tubeless on this trip. <laughs> Water sucks. We drank about three cafeteers worth of coffee or percolators, and now we've got 15 miles to ride. One straight road that way. Short day. Everything is just. Like, we haven't turned. Direction. You just don't turn. Right. How has today's ride been for you, dude? Yeah, all right, man. It's been a short one, though, isn't it? It's what, 65 miles? 1,200 meters of up? Yeah. It's all right. We expected it to be a lot hotter, considering it was coming out of Death Valley. 
Well, just it's almost chilly. The descent into this valley was spectacular. I mean, you basically got all these mountains in the background. It was just incredible. It's breathtaking. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's been really, been really picturesque. We just had a nice breakfast. Lawrence is out of doze. Lawrence is asleep right now while he's riding his bike. Yeah, man. Well, he's, we've already said he's a man of many talents. It wouldn't surprise me if he could do that. So we made it to the motel. Welcome to the town of Independence. Happy? Independence, isn't that like where a movie's set or the name of a movie? Independence Day is um, when Americans celebrate uh, Will Smith saving the world from an alien oh, invasion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Will Smith isn't here though. Not here. Disappointing. He's probably making a vlog. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you watch them? No. Hey guys, this coat's for Lawrence. Why? We've done Lawrence's bike. Now it's your turn to tell us about your bike. Not drunk. <laughs> I was a little bit, we were all a little bit tipsy that night, weren't we, at Nocturne? You crashed. I crashed, yeah. On this bike, actually. <laughs> First time it. I've ever First ridden night. it. No damage whatsoever was done. So um, man, tell us about your Trevsicle. So a Trevsicle, which is, it's, it's been um, affectionately dubbed the Trevsicle because it's made by Trevor Watson in uh, South West London. He's a mate of mine. So, it's awesome frameworks, so it's a custom steel frame. I designed it, so I designed the geometry of it. Uh, it's recently been, re uh, been repainted. Got a little American flag on the seat tube there, which you can't see from that angle, because you have to zoom into it. Uh, but yeah, it's Columbus designer tubing, hard as nails, room for up to 30 C tires, Shimano Jura Ace. Spin on these wheels. And they mine, got a hole in. mine haven't got a hole in them because I packed my bike properly. For people, guys doing like TCR and that sort of thing, would have a similar setup to this. Maybe a smaller seat bag. Maybe disc brakes. Uh, but this is this is great because it's it's aero. There have been a few comments about uh, the wheel choice and all this kind of stuff. But I mean, let's let's make it clear. I didn't build this bike to do this trip. I, mean, I didn't buy a bike for this trip. That's my winter bike. To be honest, there's mu not much I'd change um, from my setup other than tubeless. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe we should. Maybe we should do tubeless. Go to the tubeless. I got a scratch. Oh no! What is this? Sorry, Drew. You know, some of the comments was like, "They said didn't punch a hole in mine." As the sun got to you so much that you were doing weird accents. Oh no! I yeah, don't know what you're yeah. talking about, Seth. <laughs> That's your normal voice. Though. Yes, my normal voice. Man. Oh. He's dick. Compared to Kelso. Death Valley was a piece of piss. It was a walk in the park, Death Valley National Park. But it, it, it really was. I mean, you know, you let's let's not uh, let's not forget you were shitting a brick at the bottom of it. I was. I mean, we were lucky because we got to a shot. It was nothing. Everything in in um, Stovepipe Wells, which is in the middle of Death Valley, was completely shut off, completely closed. Although some clever bloke had left the ice machine open, like the ice dump open. So. Uh, Two bags of ice later. Left him some which money. We didn't steal. We put money in the ice dump, as other as other people had. And uh, you know, we started the climb. And again, that was a, what was it, a nine mile climb, <laughs> something like that. Longest climbs I've ever done. And we've been we've been comparing it to Von Two. <laughs> They've all been bigger than Von Two. They've all been bigger than Von Two. I would do Von Two every day of the week over those climbs. It, you know, they are, they're longer, they're just as steep, and they're in 50 degrees heat. It's just, it's seriously extreme out here. Uh, and we, it's really nice, as we kind of, you can see in the background, we've come to, where are we? Independence. Independence. And, uh, well, let's just say we can sit outside here. It's still 38 degrees, but it's not, it's not searing heat, and it's a lot greener, and you know, we've got these epic, mountains of Yosemite in the background and uh, you can tell it's getting a little bit cooler isn't it? You know, next stop's Lee Vining, that's even cooler uh, and then it's into Yosemite from there. What is it with the hitchhikers in this town? There are, there were three guys, uh, with three guys when we were coming in I got a little bit worried about because yeah. it was, we had three bikes. <laughs> yeah, don't want to get mugged for our yeah. bicycles. Nah. And I, of all the places in the world, I don't want to be stuck here. But you know what? In San Francisco, people, people can mug us on our bicycles. It's fine. We, we we to hang out in yeah, San Francisco yeah, cool, and get a train up to Portland or something. Jeez. Taco Jeez. van, man. Looks rough as arseholes. Do you want a beer, man? It's really kimpy. Thank you. Thank you. 
one beer? $13 is your Just one beer? Remember the last time we had one beer? <laughs> it depends on who we're with, doesn't it? Because uh, one beer often turns into, I don't know, nine or ten. Ten beers? Yeah. Veggie burrito, bro. It's actually just foil. We messed up tomorrow again. <laughs>